Hey, my name's Stevie G with Page Key Solutions, and today we're on our third sort of four out of the series in Python, bubble sort. So, yes, it is third. After this, all we have is insertion sort, and I think you'll find this just a little easier than the last two. Back to our summary sheet of big O and all things related. As you'll see, bubble sort is not too great. It is slouching. Slouching in the average case, slouching in the worst case. In the best case, it does okay. Actually a little better than the other two, but we're talking best case, not even average case. However, if you look at the space capacity, it is in place. Everything happens within the array. No temp arrays, nothing like that. So it is simply good old O of one. Very good on space. So jumping right into bubble sort itself, background. It is also called a sinking sort. It is quite slow and in almost every case impractical. However, those of you in computer science courses will still experience the beauty of bubble sort. It is still a big part of courses, which is why I'm showing you. Basic steps, fairly straightforward. We're just going to repeat the following steps, while true, forever, until we decide to break out. For the first part, we will compare each element to the one before it. And we're going to start on the second element because there's nothing before the first element. This is a lot easier than, say, starting at zero in other words, the first element, and checking the next one because then we have to worry about how long the array is and all that stuff. You'll see in the visualization that we it just works out better if you start at the first element. Um, so if the left element is greater than the right element, in other words, if the one right before the element we're working on is bigger, we're going to swap the two because the left element should not be greater in a sorted array. So we're working towards that sorted array. And you'll just, once you're done with that, you'll move on to the next one and the next one, and then you'll complete an entire pass on the array. And if you have reached the end and you haven't swapped anything, then you're done. If you have swapped something at some point, you're not done yet. You have to have a whole pass without swapping anything. So you'll go back to A. So what's that look like? We're going to keep track of two things when visualizing bubble sort. Have we swapped anything? As we saw, that's pretty important. And I is where we're at in the array. So you know arrays are zero base, so this is zero, one, two, and so on. So we always start i at one, skipping that first element. That first element is never equal to i, and it's covered by this i minus one case. So we're all set up here, i is one, we have this guy selected, what are we gonna do to it? First we check which is greater. Five is greater than two. In a sorted array, this is wrong, so what are we gonna do? Flip them. Now we have swapped this pass, and we can move on. 5 and 7, is 5 greater than 7? It is not, so these guys are fine. Is 7 greater than 3? Survey says it is, so we'll have to swap them. 3 and 7 swapped out, and since have swapped is already true, that doesn't change. We'll move on. 7 and 4, 7 is greater than 4, that's no good. Swap them out, and we're done our first pass. And you'll notice have swapped is true, so we have to start again. Set have swapped back to false, our hopes are high, maybe we won't swap this round. I is one again, and we have two and five. No need to swap because two is in the right place compared to five. Moving on. Five and three, five is not in the right place. We need to swap these babies out. Five is greater than three, so we'll swap. Have swapped goes to true, and we'll move on. Five is greater than four as well, so we'll swap those out. No change to have swapped, we have still swapped. And five is not greater than seven, we're fine. So that finishes up this pass. And have swapped is still true, so let's go at it again. You can start to see how bubble sort isn't the most efficient. So we'll look at two and three, it's fine. Three and four, it's fine. Four and five, nothing wrong here. Five and seven, nothing wrong here. And we're done our pass, and looky here. Have swapped, false. So that's good news for us means we're done, and it means the array is sorted. Congrats, we have sorted it, the array. So here's the good stuff again, the code. You can check it out, it's not too long. Merge sort took up like three pages. This one is all in one page. So, as we were doing, it's an infinite loop until we break out of it. We set our have switch to false for this pass, and we're going to go for i in uh, the range of one to the length of the array. So from the first element all the way to the end, and if the element right before i is greater than i itself, we need to switch things. So first of all, set that have switched flag to true, and then we do our swap. So we set a temporary to the previous, we set the previous to i, 
and we set i to that temporary variable. And for those of you not familiar with swapping, this is how you swap two variables without losing one of them. Because if we didn't have this first line, or if we just tried to set r of i to i minus 1, then we would lose one of the values. So that concludes the pass, and then at the very end we have our break condition. If we have reached the end and we have not switched anything, we can break out. The array is sorted. So that was a pretty quick one. It flew by, and uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it. And we'll just go through how to get to the code, how to make an issue if you find a problem with the code, and how to stay involved. So obviously liking, commenting, and subscribing on YouTube is a great thing, but if you would like to peruse the source code your own self, check out sorts, and you'll find bubblesort.py right here. Uh, it's the code we just went through, so you can clone this repository and play around with it. And if you're interested in automated tests, I did add a test for this sort as well. It's right here, and it's nice and easy. So, check that out. And if you would like to create an issue, just click on Issues, and New Issue. Type in a brief description in the title. Tell me what you saw and what you expected to see, and I'll look into it. Or if you just have questions, make it an issue too, I don't mind. Credits again, I got the icons from flaticon.com, smash icons, and free pick. It's always a pleasure. Big O Sheet Sheet provided the uh, answers to the slide in the beginning. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you for our next sort, insertion sort.